With so many blue pigments available in the market today, it's easy to take Persian blue for granted and forget about the impact it had in the art world. Before the 18th century, the only blue pigments available in the market were made from natural plants and minerals such as lapis lazuli, azurite, smalt, and indigo. These pigments were not only incredibly expensive, but also extremely laborious to make. But between 1704 and 1706, something incredibly happened. Persian blue, the first purely synthetic pigment, was accidentally discovered by a Swiss color maker named Johann Jacob Disbach. This new blue pigment was non-toxic, intensely color and stable, easy to make, and above all, it was affordable. Persian blue became an instant sensation and spread rapidly throughout Europe. In France, Persian blue helped give the Rococo movement its cheerful color and style. The intensely colored blue gave artists much greater freedom of expression in the depiction of natural scenery, such as skies, mountains, and bodies of water. Persian blue continued to be highly esteemed by artists in the 19th and 20th centuries. Thomas Cole combined yellow with Persian blue to achieve a very desirable bright green in his landscape paintings. The use of Persian blue still continues today and is available for many brands. And you can also find Persian blue powder pigment and make your own paint. In this short demonstration, I'll show you how I make Persian blue oil paint. Making your own paint from powder pigment is very simple. The first thing I do is add some drops of oil to the powder. I then mix the oil with the Persian blue pigment until I create a thick paste. My next step is to work the paste with the muller to fully disperse the pigment into the oil binder. Once the oil and powder pigment have been fully dispersed, you should end up with a nice paste. Okay, let's compare now Persian blue to the pigments available at the time of its discovery. Here I have some samples of indigo, azurite, smalt, lapis lazuli, and ultramarine ash. I can't even imagine what artists must have felt like when first seeing Persian blue. The intense tinting strength and smooth application when compared to mineral rock pigments is amazing. Artists could now make deep blackish blues and a wide range of greens and purples with this one color. When applied thinly, you see a stunning and intense blue glaze. When mixed with white, Persian blue makes beautiful blue tints useful for skies and water. It's not surprising to see why Persian blue would grow to become a staple ingredient on artist palettes all over Europe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to be notified for future videos.